Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. Today we're looking at the Golden Girls Any Way You Slice It game. This is put out by Cardinal, ages 12 and up, 2 to 4 players. I found this at a Dollar General and it was, I think, $5. So that's a good deal, especially for a licensed game. So let's open this up and see what is inside because inside we're supposed to see four character cards four tokens 16 cheesecakes one sticker sheet 160 cards one die and an instruction sheet and it has a, obviously a golden girls theme and trivia apparently it's just held together by a piece of tape on both ends really cheap tape it's already fading pretty heavily here so let's see what we've got The box is pretty sturdy, but it's a cheap type of cardboard, so that probably won't hold up. Another piece of cardboard. Okay, so here's our instructions. It's a poorly folded black and white piece of paper. It's kind of cheap, but it's not the worst. Pretty easy instructions. Not too exciting. Uh, the fact that it's not folded evenly is a little annoying, and that it's on um, kind of low-end paper, but you kind of expect that sometimes. So let's take a closer look at the pieces. Okay, so let's start with the player tokens. Alright, so... Very simplistic on this side, on the back. You got the house in different colors. These are very thin, pretty low quality actually. So not a very good thickness to them. Easily bent and folded. Then we've got the cheesecakes. There's four of this one. And on the back is blank. Four of this one. Also blank on the back. Same thing for the third one. And finally, the purple one. I guess it's blueberries or something. I don't know. Same deal. Alright, so that's those tokens. Let's look at our die. Alright, we've got a generic white die with no markings and a sticker sheet. So a T, a W, an M, a D, question mark, and a number two. Pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at our cards. We'll look at this deck first. And it's not perforated, so this could be more of a challenge. We'll start with this side. We've got an image of Rose.
Okay, then we've got the Who Wore It cards. Should have this on the back. These are all labeled Sophia. Are these numbered? No, of course not. These are rows. And we're going to door with these cards. Blanche's cards. All right, looks like there's about ten cards per character. Next up we have meme cards. And we have Blanche's cards. Then we have Sophia's cards. Again, it looks like we have 10 of each. Okay, that's the first deck. Let's take a look at the trivia cards.
Okay, so this deck is Dating and Trivia. So we'll look at the trivia first. See if you can get all these. Well, these are numbered down in the corner. There's 40 of them, so there's probably 10 for each character again. And finally, number one. So that was the trivia deck. Okay, the trivia questions actually look pretty good. Let's take a look at the dating deck. And these are also numbered 1 through 40. I'm not sure why the other cards aren't numbered. And lastly, number one. All right, so there is a Dollar General code at the bottom of this one. So it's like the um, tracking product, like serial number or something. Not individual, but for the box itself. So the questions are actually pretty good for the trivia and the dating decks. Uh, the memes are kind of pointless, I guess. Silly looking. 
the who wore it is an interesting technique. You get to see lots of pictures between the two decks though and with a 40 card deck on each one should be pretty fun I don't know why the answers are in the bottom here you probably have to cover that up when you show someone the card uh, some of the pictures look a little fuzzy others are fine so like some of these I think they didn't use a remastered version they used the syndication version As far as the die goes, the, the die is fine. The stickers are kind of cheap. And these things are real cheap. These would probably be pretty torn up if the game's played even a couple times. You can kind of see on some of the cards where even though I just opened it, it's already nicked up and edged. And that, the little white flecks are visible from where it's been bumped around just within the box. So since the cards are so thin, it's probably not going to hold up very well. Okay, so that is what is inside the Golden Girls Any Way You Slice It game. Ready to roll fast paced game. From Cardinal, ages 12 and up, 2 to 4 players. The game actually looks pretty good. The contents are definitely not high quality. But for the 5 bucks you're going to pay for it, yeah, I'd say it's worth it. If you're a big Golden Girls fan, you'll definitely want to add this to your collection. I think it's got a lot of replayability for the diehards, but the casual person probably going to play this a couple times, then forget about it, maybe dust it off every few years for nostalgia purposes. Uh, I think there is definitely some replayability here. Uh, the trivia questions are pretty tough, but if you want to play something on a regular basis, this is probably not the game for you. But for $5, it's a cool little conversation piece and a game you could play at a party or social get-together of some kind and uh, have a little bit of fun but it's definitely going to appeal more toward people that have watched many episodes of the show I don't think uh, even a casual viewer is gonna really know much about the Golden Girls but thankfully the show is in repeats and is available on some various uh, online services so there are ways to watch the show and enjoy this game so I think if you're a Golden Girls fan this is definitely something for you beyond that probably not going to appeal to the majority of people but for five bucks it's a fun purchase so I'm looking forward to playing it the cards probably not going to hold up but for five bucks like I said it's not a bad purchase that's just my opinion though we've seen what's in the box you've heard me say what I think that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching What's Inside and supporting Roll for Sanity. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you want to help the channel in other ways, links are in the description and on the About page. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.